Yay! My computer is back up and running. I'm just so excited. Uh, thank you to my hubby for fixing it and getting it all ready for me. But you really feel lost when you don't have your computer. And I guess y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm really uh, far behind on all the videos. But uh, I want to, I've already thanked Kelly, but I want to give her a shout out again. And girl, that was the sweetest thing you did, that video that you made. And uh, I just can't thank you enough. That was so sweet. I, it just blew me away. And the wonderful people that came from uh, your channel and subscribed and left such nice comments, that's, that's a real booster. And thank you again, sweetie. I got a little project here that I did. Uh, it's been a while since I've done anything, but uh, I did this little, uh, it's a box canvas made out of a box. Basically, I just layered it with some tissue paper, some dictionary paper, and I uh, used some modeling paste and stenciling all around. Okay, and uh, then Mod podge over that. Um, right here is some of this uh, crocheted stuff you can get that at Walmart it stretches out it's really cool and I wondered how that might work for some Halloween project for uh, like a spider web but anyway I just tacked it in three places and stretched it out across okay uh, underneath you can see I've got some chicken wire and I painted that chicken wire black and by the way all this stuff here uh, is scrap pieces that I had accumulated from a couple of projects so uh, I decided I, I just put myself on a mission that I was going to start using up my scraps after a couple of projects and just come up with something so this is one of the projects and it's uh, scraps scrap pieces of fabric and odds and ends now the flowers are from wild orchid crafts and I love wild orchid crafts flowers they're so pretty and I have some clay pieces here and a cameo here uh, this black piece here is from Butterbee scraps and I painted it black and um, actually I cut it to lengthen it so it would serve as kind of a matting on the back of this cameo I have a couple of clay pieces here this is a little flower piece that I cut out of a fabric softener sheet uh, I got some little pieces I cut out of some fabric here um, here's the little stem that I made I, I call it a stucco stem and I got a little uh, clip at the end of the video to show how I put those together with uh, wire and cheesecloth and some stucco mix have a little feather here a seashell with some beads a little metal piece from my stash some more wild orchid craft flowers here and another seashell and uh, I think that covers everything. Oh, here's a Butterbee Scraps Butterfly. And I painted it black, edged it in white, and then uh, I cut out a little flower. Got a little bead in the center. And this little banner up here, I just cut out some fabric and added some letters. It says love. Okay. So, um, that's one little project I made. And then the next one that I made kind of on the fly here is the mason jar and um, I saw this idea on uh, Pinterest and what they did is they put glue and this was done for the outside but I did it on the inside I put glue on the inside and then uh, poured some kosher salt in there and it gave it a frosted look and I, I kind of like that um, to start out with I just uh, use some more scrap pieces of fabric here this little piece here I embroidered uh, from my embroidery machine 
and um, then I tea dyed all the fabric the same color and um, this embroidery part was a real real brilliant bright thread so I just went over it with some gesso to tone it down kind of give it a vintage look here's a little doily piece here and here and this is a metal piece from a stash another doily piece here these are some wild orchid crafts flowers here and I made this little flower here these little tiny dainty rosebuds are from easy crafts and I absolutely love those little tiny dainty rosebuds and then right here stuck in the middle of the flowers is a piece of rolled up dictionary paper and I just uh, put a little green wire there and there's a stick pin that I made and then I didn't use the uh, twist cap around I wanted just to leave it off so I put some vintage trim here and some seam binding that I had tea dyed also and uh, on the top is uh, I covered it with some lace here uh, a crochet doily another uh, wild orchid crafts bloom and I tea dyed that bloom also okay on the back side is uh, there's a glare sorry about that on the back side is uh, some paper that I mod podged on and it's it's a uh, tea bag paper that I had stamped and distressed and then Mod Podged on it really gave it a vintage look okay it's so cool and on the inside <laughs> I just put some little moss in there and this is a little tag that I uh, was experimenting with and I just uh, used different distress inks and some stamps and then did some doodling on there and some washi tape on the back and some more stamping so that's two little projects that I had finished and I just want to share that with you and I hope you like it and thank you again Kelly and everybody else that subscribed to my channel I really do appreciate it appreciate all your support and I hope you all have a good day take care bye bye